Hi guys, you are welcome back to, I think we should start to name these episodes that I do from The Office, right? I just call them T.Y.'s Thoughts, The Office Series. What do you think? <laughs> welcome back to my channel today this beautiful day well the beautiful day that I'm recording this and I hope that the day that you're watching this is also a beautiful day as well how are you today how are you doing I hope that you're staying safe I know that in the midst of all of this ease of lockdown you know the continuous spread of the virus i hope that you are staying safe and i hope that you're staying responsible i think for me that's really the key word in this season to be responsible to protect yourself to protect others in your going out in your coming in to stay masked to keep yourself socially distanced as much as you can help especially when you're in public places to have your sanitizers, but even to try as much as possible to wash your hands. You know, many times we have the opportunity to actually wash our hands, which is much better than sanitizing. So just stay safe, guys. This thing is real. Stay safe, stay protected, and stay responsible. My name is Olua Toyin, T-O-Y-I-N for short, T-Y for shorter, and this is T-Y's Thoughts, where I just get to share about my journey on this lesson of life and living um, and sometimes just bring you into my world today I want to talk about focus f o c u s focus if you know that you've gotten to the point where you understand that this is what I'm meant to be doing in this way regardless of what you see out there that so many other people are doing focus the example that came to me when I was thinking about this is someone that decides he wants to go into farming right and then you start to farm let's take a random example tomatoes you've been farming your tomatoes maybe three months six months you know it's going well things are looking okay they are trying to grow and all of a sudden you realize that you heard about another friend of yours who started at the same time with you and let's say this friend started to farm corn now let me put a caveat here i'm not a farmer i don't know how long it takes to farm anything so anything i say here is not how it works in farming i'm just using this as an example so you realize that this your friend has started to farm corn and you heard that in the couple of months maybe when the same time you started or before you started his own thing has just blown up it's massive he has even sold it he has made millions all of those things like i said i'm not a farmer all of a sudden you abandon your tomato farm to decide that you want to go and start farming corn because you have heard that mr b is now farming corn you enter the corn farming we don't know what happened to you. As you're in the corn farm, you know, tending your corn, you just heard that, ah, hey, Dan Ladi, yam. His yam, in fact, eh, his, you now leave your corn, go and enter yam. Follow one course until successful. And this applies to so many of us who many times are so overwhelmed by the images of what others are doing and guys i can't lie to you this thing of social media is such an amazing tool but it's such a distracting tool because really what it does eh, is that it just gives us the easiest way to lose focus you know maybe you woke up in the morning you know what you are doing for that day you are so excited you're so energized you know maybe you're trying to grow a business maybe you're in a career you just got a new job the job is going well you know you're growing you're trying different scenarios then you get to work maybe just about 12 o'clock one o'clock you open your phone you just see your friend post something and oh my god how i just did this did did, did that everything's then you start having a headache. In fact, by two o'clock, you just, you just realize that your emotions, your enthusiasm, your joy level, your peace level has reduced. You just feel disturbed. You don't know what's going on with you. It's because of that thing you saw. And not only has it affected your peace, your sanity, it's also affected your focus. So you wake up the next day and the same you that woke up yesterday saying, yes, I know what we are doing. Yes, we're going for it. This is it. This is it. This is it. The same you is wondering, hmm, maybe we should change it like this. So maybe we should do it like this. And sometimes we might not even realize that it, that is where it is coming from. We necessarily don't know that 
maybe the reason why I'm having a change of mind is because, which is why they always say that when you have a vision, when you have something that you are looking towards, that you're planning to do, write it down. Let it be somewhere that you can see day by day by day and focus on that vision. Focus on that thing. Now, you can be inspired by other people. You can see what they are doing right you can look at it you know you can get ideas from what they are doing even to help what you're doing but when you begin to realize that it's not just that you're getting an idea or being inspired is that it's even affecting you. maybe sometimes maybe you people started the same kind of thing at the same time and for some reason that person's own blossomed in six months and yours is still struggling in 10 months you still need to focus you still need to stay the path the journeys of our life are extremely very different and why some things you know blow for some people in a certain time and for some other people they don't we cannot explain it but if you stay true to the integrity of your heart and i always say this thing on a lot of these videos if you stay true to the integrity of your heart and to what you know that you are meant to be doing in that season no matter how long it takes no matter how hard it is no matter how crazy your road is focus don't lose your own direction. The grass might seem greener on the other side. And truth is, that person, you know, it's very interesting because sometimes you are looking at someone and thinking, oh my God, how I wish, how I wish. You don't realize that they might be looking at you too and thinking, oh my God, how I wish, how I wish. So two of you are looking at each other's lives, blinded by each other's journeys, distracted by each other's journeys, not realizing that you are how i wishing for both of your lives focus guys there is the focusing of focus on the big vision of your life you know don't get distracted by what you might think another person's vision or goal is but there is now the focusing on the day to day in fact there is the focusing on maybe just 24 hours of your life you know we all have 24 hours but there are some people that it seems like they have 120 hours because they seem to get so much done within the same allotted 24 hours that we all have and like they say time is the greatest currency that thing is such a powerful statement i didn't used to get it when i was young you know there are so many things that just used to sound to me like cliches you know plan to fail fail to plan time is the greatest currency all those things they say but those things are so true guys they are so true so i sat down with this ceo friend of mine and i said you have so much to do father three children husband you know this company you're running and so many other things and i said how do you get all of these things done and he told me what i thought to be the simplest thing yeah i mean it was the simplest thing that even i used to do but i realized i was doing wrong can you guess what it is so he said to me i have a to-do list and i follow my to-do list and if my to-do list is number one to ten I start at number one and I don't jump to number two until I finish number one. I don't jump from number two to number three until I finish number two. And he said to me, that is one of the simplest and fastest ways to get things done that people do not realize. And I knew what he was saying. Because you see me here, and let me tell the truth, true confession, I live with to-do lists. I work with to-do lists. However, let me tell you the difference between myself and my CEO friend. I can have a to-do list of 10 items as well. I'm on number one. And then I get a brilliant idea for number two. And I'm like, oh, flash of idea. I don't want to forget it. No, 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 no. I jump to number two. I'm doing number two. All of a sudden, number five just pops up somewhere. Ah, I'm like, hey, I need to do this. So I jump to number five. I'm still in number five in the middle. Of, you remember, I've not finished number one. I've not finished number two. As I'm doing number five, something happens. Number 10 is calling my attention. Then I jump to number 10. Before we know it, the day I finish, the time I have to do all these things have finished and I am somewhere 80% at number one, 65% at number two, maybe I'm 70% at number five. I didn't even touch number three and number four. In fact, totally forget number seven, eight and nine. And at number 10, I'm still at 10% and that's it. You know why? Lack of focus. Because many times, and I know, you know, many people are really like this. It's that, ah, but as I was doing it, it was such a brilliant thing. I just had to leave this one. See, if you are the kind of person that is leaving this one to do this one, to do this one, you find that at the end of the day, you have not really finished anyone. Focus. Follow one course until successful. 
follow number one, finish number one, go to number two. Follow number two, finish number two, go to number three. Guys, these things are such simple life principles and sometimes that's why we miss it because they are very simple. I'm, I'm just like, you know what? But it's a very simple thing and then and I do it, I do it. Like I said, I thought I used to do it. Like if you ever ask me, do you do to-do lists? I've been a to-do lister from only God knows when. I write to-do lists. But that practice of following my to-do list from one to two to three, finish this task. I know like they say, Anyway, I would like, I like to say it works for different people different ways. Put the hardest one first, mm -hmm. just make sure you finish it. Put the simplest one first, mm -hmm. just make sure you finish it. Whichever one you want to put first or last or in the middle, just make sure that you are able to follow your list from number one to two to three and finish it all until the end. And I'll just quickly share another thing that helps me. I like to schedule my day. So I break my day into three hours, which give me, which gives me eight blocks in a day so what do i mean um okay let me show you guys my notepad this is what i mean by i schedule my day can you see this can that focus on this is so bright it just might not you know focus well but i break my day into 12 to 3 3 to 6 i'll just put the camera back on it and the 6 to 9 9 to 12 12 to 3 and all of that so i break it up like that right so what that helps me to do is it helps me to break my day into eight blocks. Now, when I was in university, I think I've told the story uh, at different times, I used to be an hourly scheduler. So my schedules were five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, and I followed the schedule. That's true. So I've actually been a focused person thinking about it now because I, I, I don't know why these days I think that I'm fighting to focus. <laughs> Let me blame it on the many distractions in life. But in year two slash year three, when I started this, I used to schedule by the hour. So I had a schedule all the way from 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. Does that make sense? So 12 midnight to 1 a.m. I mean, obviously, I'll maybe just block out 12 to 4 sleep. But I had things like 4 to 5 pray, 4 to 5 wake, pray, 5 to 6 get ready for classes, 6 to 7 days maybe. And then I'll schedule in my um, courses 10 to 12, mass 1 or 2 no mass two or three because that was year two and three that kind of thing now in that schedule i was very realistic we are not saying just be a serious human being no i had things like play with friends in my schedule so i would have things like five to six play with friends six to seven go to room now what i used to do was once it was six regardless of who i was with play with friends i see that it's six o'clock it's time to go i pack my bag and i will go I was that focused. Now I'm saying this story because I've got into a phase of life where I realized that being focused by the hour is slightly difficult. I, I, I don't know why, but it's just what I've realized. And a part of me has constantly struggled to go back to that style. But when I realized it wasn't working, I decided to do a new style, which is why I then came up with this three hour breaks. So what I have in my three hour breaks now are activities that I must get done within those three hours. I downloaded this thing, you can get it as well. It's all over, I got this from Google Play Store. I also just try to show you guys well because the reflection of the window is there. It's a mind map. Uh, I think this one is called Simple Mind Map something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll show you on the screen. So. I've used it to do a time map for my eight hour schedules, right? So the point for this is I might not be able to say that in every hour, <clears throat> this is what I'm doing, but I'm able to say that in every three hours, I must have done this. Now, this is very important because, because our lives change and because we have to be realistic, because the demands of our life change and all of that, the style that you used in one season of your life might not work in another season of your life. And when we are saying focus, we are not just saying focus on the quote and unquote serious things of life. Everything is serious. You know, you have to determine for yourself what is important to you. When we are saying focus, what we are saying is focus. So I have things here like social media. I have things like call family and friends. It's all on this schedule. So the most important thing is list out what is important to you in life so i'm not even just saying focus on the vision of your life as a career person as a business person all of that focus on you focus on your life most important you are you your life is you focus on your life sit down if you're watching this and you just feel like your life has not really gone in any direction you know you feel like today you are here tomorrow they are there tomorrow you know 
maybe it's a problem of focus. Sit down and list out who you are and the things that are important to you as a human being. So family, work, friendships, this, that. In those friendships, list out their names. Who do you need to call every week? Who do you need to call every two days? All those things are there. Do you understand? Uh, work, how do you need to do this? Networks, how do you need to do that? Write all of those things down. Put them in a, you don't have to follow this schedule. Find the schedule that works for you. For some people, you can do the hourly one. For some people, you can do the three hours a day blocks. For some people, it's six hours a day block. I mean, it just works different ways for different people. The point is, find what works for you and focus. Look guys, life right now is of the essence. The fact that we are breathing huh, does not guarantee what will happen any other day. So you are breathing today. You have to make the most of your life. We have to give ourselves that gift of not just living, of not just, you know, being alive. That's it. We have to give ourselves that gift of not just being alive, but actually living, of not just existing and coasting and letting life just be, but actually living to the fullest of who you can be, who you are as a co-creator with God, who you are as a sibling, who you are as a daughter, who you are as a son, who you are as a husband, who you are as a father, who you are as a friend. There are so many roles that we play and we have to ensure that all of those roles are being lived to their fullest and it can only happen by focus. Some of you are married, you're in your houses, you get home, you spend three hours on the phone, your spouse is trying to get your attention, you are, what are you doing on the phone? Focus! Have time, set out time to say, Home time is 6 to 9 or 6 p.m. to 12 p.m. Between the 6 p.m. to 6 p.m. to 12 midnight, sorry. Between the 6 p.m. to 12 midnight, amount of time you spend with wife, amount of time you spend with children, how you will do this, activities to be done. That is part of focus. That is part, that's, that's how we need to think about life and living now. Don't just go with the flow. Don't just forget yourself in all of these mundane things that don't matter. It takes a high level of discipline. And that's another thing. When you have decided, it's one thing to have this very <laughs> nice looking map. It's another thing to do it. It's another thing to stay disciplined. Okay, I just realized that I, I got very passionate <laughs> and I just had to take a breather. But it is because this is something that I'm very passionate about. Like, focus, discipline, these always seem like such huge conversations. Such, you know, we don't want to hear the serious things of life, but they're the things that make life work. And these are the things that I have seen that I have you know, I wish I did better. I wish I, I, I knew better. So that's the thing. It's one thing to know better. It's another thing to do better. I do these videos because I have learned from at least the journey that I have been on. My journey is still continuing. It has not finished. But it will be painful to see people go through or make mistakes or fall into pits that I fell in. Which is why I keep talking about these kinds of things. With focus goes discipline. It's one thing to have this very pretty thing that I've put up here, right? It's another thing to wake up each day and say, okay, what did I say I was going to do at 2 to 3? What did I say I was going to do at in this block or in this hour? If you have to write these things down, you have to put them somewhere that you get to see them every day, you get to see them every time. Maybe you have to have accountability partners as well, depending on how good you are or how, you know, undisciplined you might be. And it's not a... See, the, the most important thing about life sometimes, right, is to tell yourself who you are. Just admit to yourself that I struggle with this, I struggle with this, I have issues here, I'm not that focused, I'm not that consistent, I start things but I don't finish them. Because when you admit your errors to yourself, then you can begin to find help. But if you're telling yourself, you know what, I'm just perfect, I'm just amazing, I'm just, you know, all up. You live with your problems, nobody will be able to advise you. You will not be able to advise yourself. And you'll be in that cycle for years. And this is what is leading to many people's frustrations. You just find yourself in cycles that are not working, patterns that are not working, behaviors, characters, attitudes that are not working, they are not paying you, they are stressing your family, they are stressing your friends, nobody can tell you. We are going into another conversation. Let's stick with what today's conversation is. Let me focus. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so I just thought to share this, um, these thoughts of mine. It is so important. It is so important if you're someone here who is, you know, fighting to follow one course until you're successful. I'm just going to say now, if there is a course you are on presently right now, stay with it. Stay with it. Keep your eyes fixed on the ball. Keep that tunnel vision. You know, when I think of tunnel vision, this is what I think about tunnel vision. And the idea is because it's like this, you cannot see anything, no matter what you are looking at. You know, when you're in the tunnel, that's it. It's just dark. Everything is just black. You can't, you don't see nothing else. All you are seeing is just where you are going. Everything around you, that's tunnel vision. Keep your eyes like that. You look to the left, you see nothing. You look to the right, you see nothing. You are just seeing that, your vision. I'm not saying don't see other people that don't be inspired or, you know, influenced by them. You can do that, but keep your vision as your vision. Focus, follow one course until you're successful. Have your to-do list per day. Do number one. When you finish is when you should go to number two. Find what works for you because sometimes as well, that just might not work for people. And I've come to learn that what works for Mr. A might not work for Mr. B. So Mr. A, find what works for you. Mr. B, find what works for you. Mrs. C, find what works for you. Miss D, find what works for you. Everybody, find what works for you. But just make sure that you're living a focused, disciplined, purposeful life. Trying your best to balance all of your life, like I've said, spiritually, socially, mentally physically you can have times for exercise all of those things are important just find what works for you don't let life happen to you don't let life happen to you happen to life and don't just be alive live don't just exist live don't just coast along live don't just go with the flow live i hope that you've had fun watching this today subscribe to my channel and just let's, you know, continue this journey of life and living and worship together. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.